Now all is quiet in the tropics right now, but we are watching closely and we know all of you have the worry of hurricanes somewhere in your mind. One of the biggest threats is the damage from the storm surge. Now earlier this month, storm team meteorologist Katie Morgan traveled to the National Hurricane Center actually in Miami to see what issues their experts are focusing on. We were all packed and ready to go. Storm Team meteorologist Marla Branson and I recently made the trip from the Grand Strand to Miami, Florida to visit the National Hurricane Center. Recently, scientists realized that storm surge needed to be tracked separately from the maximum wind speed because where it hits makes a big difference. If I took Hurricane Ike that produced 15 to 20 foot surges off Louisiana and North Texas and ran that again against uh, North Miami to Palm Beach, I'd only get seven feet same storm. In other words, the storm surge forecast relies heavily on the local geography and a uniform scale is not an accurate way to come up with that forecast. The bathymetry, in other words, the seafloor under, underneath the ocean as it comes up to your beach uh, plays a role in it. The size of the hurricane plays a role in it. The direction it's approaching the coast plays a role in the surge, whereas Maximum wind, which is the Saffir Simpson scale, 100 miles an hour is 100 miles an hour no matter how it comes at you. So the makeup of the coastline plays a big role in how much damage a hurricane could create along the Carolina coast. Well, the Grand Strand sits on a generally soft sloping shelf. Notice the opposite is true the further north you head into North Carolina and in the Outer Banks, where the underwater shelf drops off more dramatically compared to, again, the Grand Strand, where it's more flat. What does this mean? Well, the gradual climb from the ocean floor to the the shoreline combined with the right storm ingredients and path of storm could lead to a larger storm surge compared to other shorelines around the United States. To find out what kind of impact that storm surge would have, I visited Justin Schools with Horry County Geographical Information Systems. For the last 10 years, they have used the latest technology to determine which areas along the Horry County coastline would be most vulnerable to storm surge if a hurricane hit. The research found it's the south end. We do this to um, give people an idea of what could happen. It's not an exact science. It's a good estimate. It's what we can use. It's the best of our knowledge. Schools reminds people who live along the coastline that every storm is different and not to take these maps as a sure thing. This is a possibility. It's a worst case scenario. It doesn't mean that it's the worst, worst case scenario. It's just another way to stay prepared during the hurricane season. I'm meteorologist Katie Morgan for WMBF News. Now, if you would like more information on storm surge potential in your neighborhood, Horry County GIS does provide personal street maps. You can call them at 843-915-5245.